We call the meeting of the Newbury Historical Commission to order at 7.05 on Thursday, October 12th, 2023. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mm. No kidding. All right, everybody review September 14th minutes. Except for Juan. So we can't accept days, huh? So then I'll have to stay. The minutes will stay until next month. Why is this? Because you weren't at the last meeting. Oh, so I can't. Oh, oh so I can't to say whether to they represent the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. All right. All right, we'll go to the treasurer's report. Treasurer's report. So I have a few extra of these. And I found an error while I was sitting here. Okay. But it's corrected on that. Uh, okay, uh, Treasurer's report, uh, not much has changed. I mean, we've, we've, I haven't uh, filed for any of our reimbursements. I usually do that at the end of the summer once they, once they pull the uh, porta potty out. And, uh, but I, I've accounted for the, the fact that we've incurred the expense. It's all in here in the beginning. So we have, a, uh, we have an effective balance in the general fund of $900, uh, accounting for the fact that we've uh, We'll need uh, $300 next spring for the, 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 the final part of FY 2024 and, and one more month this, this year. Uh, gifts and donations, uh, and so I'm finding a mistake, a disagreement between, uh, it, it, it changes. This time the disagreement is that our uh, balance carried forward is no longer in the budget. So I'm gonna have to uh, visit uh, town hall this, this uh, upcoming week and try and iron these out. We've got okay. a, a new person there. And, and, and then uh, uh, special article fund, nothing has changed. There's still 34, 56, 67 there. So we have a, an effective uh, available total of uh, funds available of 68, 49 and 32 cents. And as far as the town is concerned, because we haven't filed some of these uh, uh, committed uh, funds. Uh, they think we have 75, 74, 32 cents. Okay. So that's, and oh, and then I corrected the, uh, this as of October 1st. All right, thank so, you. Yep. Oh, we need, uh, I'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes as corrected. Um, got the minutes. The, uh, the treasurer's report. Treasurer's report. I move that we accept the treasurer's report as corrected. Second. Jan. All in favor? Aye. 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 Jan, I'll send you an electronic version of this. That's Correct. great, thank you. Yeah. No problemo. Okay. okay, there's no website report tonight. We'll go right to correspondence. Rebecca did quickly tell me on the phone oh, okay. <laughs> that she is waiting to meet with um, the new IT, the, the new IT guy. Um, when she went in, he was not available, so she's hoping to meet with him this week to be ready to launch. Good. Okay. So hopefully it'll that'll be happening soon. And she had said before that um, one we will it'll still be our the historical emissions website, even yeah. though it's um, it's going up on the, with the with the town. The town. Yep. Yeah. Just. Okay, so that's good. And that's all that we cared about was whether it's up or not, so <clears throat> at this moment. And she will let us know what's going on after that. She had family emergencies to take care of this evening, so that takes care of that part. So, um, all right, correspondence. Let's see. 
we got an email from um, Mass Historical Commission um, via the Mass His Press. They're having a um, the Mass Mass, Mass Historical Commission's Fiscal 2024 Survey and Planning Cycle will be starting up soon. Um, we got an email from Jen Doherty, also historical, Mass Historical. Um, there is a group at the end of this month, when, well, Wednesday the 25th of October, on practitioners capture the value of building materials before demolition. So this is they're working on this, so we can sign up. If anybody's interested, I can make sure you have the email to get involved in that. I think I did, but I'm going to double check. They're working instead of having <clears throat> worrying so much about the demolition delays that don't seem to be, you know, actually working well, to having the buildings deconstructed so that the materials are not all wasted and then they can be used to rebuild or be available for someone else that is maybe restoring an older home that they need older materials like the schoolhouse did when we had to get half of the floor to mm -hmm. replace it. So to me that seems like it's a good alternative to try to argue with people about the demo when you know they just everybody basically just waits people out mm -hmm. and does what they're gonna do. So there's not much, there's not as many teeth in the DDB as you think there might be, but. Well, that's my point. Yeah, so it is it is a good sticking point in that people are aware of it and then they ask questions like, is that gonna trigger this or do I have to do something? So at least that part of it is useful, but this is a little more um, of like, trying to go with the fact that it's probably not going to happen and we might as well try to save what we can save. So um, it, they're, invite, they're recommending it for architects and engineers, deconstruction and demo businesses, waste haulers, um, municipal officials, advocacy. So it's on the 25th from 1.30 to 3 and it is virtual. So um, I think that should be actually very interesting. Um, we got an email from um, Rosemary Costello, who is Manchester by the Sea Historic District Commission, and she wanted to know how many DDB things tr got triggered with us in the past five to ten years. So, I mean, basically. But we've never really incurred it, right? That stopped something completely from happening. No. So we no. have we tied together with development. Yeah. Well, the barn would be officially at least halfway through the process of of the. So that was. What we did with the barn on Marshmallow Lane, that entered into the process, but it stopped. Yeah. Well, so we, that should be counted as one. Well, I've counted, we had, we've had 14 of them. So we've that processed. They've come before us. So we've, we've processed 14 of them. Yeah, people have caught, have, have triggered it by whatever. I yeah. mean, like we had like one Main Street. Mm -hmm. We looked at that. That was the one they were tearing it down and we wanted to save parts. You went to one out in Governors, and um, with the um, the locks yep. and different parts that you thought should be saved. So we've had 14 of them. So what I my answer was this, and the reason I did not send it yet is I just wanted to clarify that this is what we want to say because it is going to another historical commission. We've had 14 instances instances where we reviewed various houses because of their age, etc. We did not actively engage the demolition delay bylaw, which was adopted in 10-21-2014. We have reviewed all buildings when requested by building. Many of them are changed or damaged, and we could find no reason to actively halt the demo. 
we did have some instances where changes were being made and we asked that search, certain beaches not be removed, et cetera. Going forward, we need to get these promises in writing, I put promises in quotes, in writing from the by the owners before we sign off on these permits. And I guess I hope this information is useful. So over okay. 10 years, basically, we've had 14. Yeah. I think that's what she's trying to get at. I would put in there that we are interested in continued discussion, possibly a round table. If they ever wanted to talk. I, I think was, if we can't get together with Mass Historical, maybe three or four towns want to sit down yeah. one night yeah. and compare notes. Yeah. What's working, what's not working, and and is what's effective and what isn't. You may get a call from the toll house too down at the pumpkin house on the corner, uh, down by the Merrimack River Bridge. Okay. Uh, he's, he's looking at you know, some changes there, uh, and uh, I've been, he's got some drawings to try to kind of approach the town with him now. I think. Uh, Weren't well, we supposed to be getting a copy of the book there? Yes, he said we can have it. He's, he's trying to find it. That's been like a year and a half. Well, I just years. talked to him on Friday. So. You've talked to him before. Well, I've talked to him before. But That's the only reason I know about said, it. He said yes again. He <laughs> said yes again. And he's going to try and find it. And, and his uh, uh, significant other is going to help. So that'll help. <laughs> Maybe she'll find it. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. So, well, I guess we'll wait and see on that one because yeah. we don't want to. That's why I know that. about the plans because I talked to them recently. Yeah, that would be a huge loss if they do something to that thing that's outside visual. So we'll see. Yeah. I guess. I kind of, I said, kind of alerted into that. That's it. This will be the part of the reason I'll be pretty careful with this because that's a, that's got that's significant. certainly of significance. Yeah. It's got a history. A lot of history, yeah. Okay, well that's good, thank you. Yeah. Um, Ma, <clears throat> I had asked Martha right before the Board of Selectmen's meeting, um, that was like last week, and uh, about the barn. Yep. See if, um, check, I said I'm checking to see if you ever got information from Damon on the barn that was supposed to have been sent out. Follow the email stream back down, please, because I don't want to keep repeating it. Um, I, because it is on the board, select board agenda again. And she said no, she has not received any information regarding the barn from Damon, and she's not of anything aware of anything that has been provided to the board of selectmen either. So we've gone all these years, still no report on the barn. So I don't know. Are they using it? Yep. He does. Um, they do not have a permit, but it's been approved. Which my understanding was that they were at the last meeting of the select board, yeah. and he withdrew his he request. Withdrew he withdrew the request for going forward. Prejudice. He, right. Yeah. But the I've been hearsay says that the fire chief and the building inspector have approved the building. Hmm. I'd still like to know what the classification code is. We keep asking for this and the classification code for the building needs to be issued before decisions on the building can be made at any level. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd like to make sure we keep all documents for uh, What's the number of Marsh Meadow? Two? One. One Marsh Meadow uh, retained. Uh, they're all retained. They're okay. Reminder. All of these houses and all these things that we've done are anything that's got a preservation restriction, a conservation restriction. I have binders for everything. Do you have all of, I remember I took a whole bunch of pictures. Did I send those all to you? Do you remember? For, for the, the bar. The bar. If you did, it's in the binder. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll look and see if I don't know. Well, I know I'm coming yet. This shows that we, there's, there's an open loop. <coughs> there, there isn't, uh, with the inspection process, 
that the provisions of the permit were not satisfied yet the permit was signed off. Um, I don't know what we can do about that, but we'll learn in the future. All right, what's next? Any more correspondence? Another email from Historical Commission from Gendarity. Um, there's a grant called um, Save America's Treasures that is um, being done for 2020, fiscal 2023, which is interesting because we're in fiscal 2023. Well, the government's it ended. You were in 24 even for the feds. I know. So maybe it's a typo on her part. Okay, I, I have no idea. But um, they're looking for it's a dollar to dollar non-federal match that's required. So applications have to be in by December 19th to fund these preservation projects. So preservation grants, collection grants, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, you just have to know what we are. We could go with like you're talking about maybe going in for a new roof or for the school or something like that. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. Um, another one. They really the, the National Park Service has released a revised preservation brief number sixteen, which is the use of substitute materials on historic building exteriors. Who issued this? The National Park Service. That's who does like the historical district and stuff they that's national. Yeah, but that's still just the National Park Service. The Department of the Interior is in charge of that six hundred page book on how to do it. The new guidance provides additional direction as well as technical preservation information on when a different material than the historic one may be appropriately used to replace a deteriorated or missing historic feature consistent with the Secretary of Interior's standards for rehabilitation. Okay. The new guidance updates substitute materials. So. So is this coming out, or is it somewhere we can find it, or is yeah, it? Yeah, it can be found out there. So. Well, depending on how many pages it is, or if there's a short version of it, we should probably have it somewhere. Yeah. Maybe look into that a little bit. I will. If it's under 50 pages, then I think we ought to have it in the somewhere we can reach it, because that's. That's going to be a big thing. Yeah, that's why and I want to make sure this came up. And, and especially uh, with win, you know, the window discussion and, 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 and yeah. And I'll not say. just the schoolhouse, but various and sundry other things that might come up. If, yep. With start Absolutely. Like 85. <laughs> One Hanover Street. There. Um, Excuse me, I get an email from uh, the Inspectional Services Department asking about um, their historical status, I guess that's where I come up with more. They're doing internal cosmetic information stuff, so um, that we have no problem with that stuff. It's not even on the, thing, the system, I don't think, yet. But he wanted, he had asked, Peter asked Jen to double check with us that there isn't a preservation restriction on the property. And there isn't to my knowledge. Isn't that the one? Does that five? That's five. Five. So and that's one. Hanover. Yeah. So five Hanover is the one that has the one you can't touch it. Well. But they put a fence in the patio anyway. Yeah. yeah. Because the owners hold the restriction. Fox yeah. in charge of the hen house? Or? So, <laughs> one hand over is the White House with the Which LED was, believe, lights on the stone um, wall. I believe it was the, um, the bishop, no, not the bishop, but the um, minister's house. I'm not positive. The, the one on the corner. So, it's on the green, so it's in a National Historic Registry District. 
It is not, does not have a preservation restriction on it. It doesn't have any other restrictions that I know of on it. But they are doing a cosmetic uplift of the bathrooms, the floors. Um, they're going to renovate the attic to make storage. And the existing stairwell to the attic will be retained. And they're going to replace the existing windows. So I guess the question is the windows are the only issue, really, right? So fenestration. So the windows, that's a flag. So I don't know whether they're talking just the attic windows or all of the windows. So it's in a district that but really still does do not. It's, yeah, I know. It's, it's like if you made me an honorary firefighter. It doesn't mean a damn thing, except that it was a nice honor to be given. And that's no, but it, it also always kicks in the demolition thing. Well, yeah. So. So the, the, their question was, is there a preservation restriction? I just said he thought there was, but he couldn't find it because it doesn't exist, to my knowledge. So, it's five, not one. So, but I'm sure that when it comes up, that they'll, you know, I told him we should probably, we should get tagged on it, and um, we'll wait and see what happens. I mean, I'll go talk to them again. He's going into surgery, so, Peter. So, so while building no. things will be on hold. So, uh, no, I guess there's nothing we can do with one Hanover. I hope the hell they're not putting replacement windows in it. So I'm not sure because they're they're going they're, they're making storage. They're going to put sheetrock and insulation, electrical and HVAC. Um, so I'm not sure if that's the way it reads. It sounded like that's what they were going to do to the attic, but maybe they're doing that to the whole inside of the house. But it's the inside of the house. Our biggest thing, as far as I can see, and as far as a lot of things that have come up with us, is. Visual. Right. Can you see it from the street? Yeah. I mean, and I know, like, when we went into the house on and governors that time, it was, you know, some king's boards, floors, and, you know, things. But they weren't getting rid of the stuff. They were just fixing other areas that really needed fixing in that house. So it's just a case of it's nice to know what's going on and to be made aware. So we'll keep an eye, I'll keep an eye on it. Well, should we type in a reply that would be very discouraged to hear that they were going to put replacement windows in? Well, I'm going to have to ask what would they're doing. So is this one hand or five hand? One. Five. One, one is the... I know, I get you. Don't, this, don't this get is, lost in the, in the swing. Okay, no. This is five hand over. Yeah. That's one hand over. That's the house on the corner. Yeah. This is one hand. Okay. Okay. It's yeah. This is the lights, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's one. Five is the one that's got the restrictions on it. Okay. And this is one. Okay. So this uh, this is this is that house with the nice front porch. That, uh, on it, that it's right on the corner. Yeah. No. No. Here's the one on the corner. Oh, the, uh, the one on the corner. Uh, the one on the corners actually faces High Road. Mm -hmm. That's one yep. of them is on that way. But the other one is this. Two houses right there, but need, but they're only on the green, which is why they're they're in a district. Right. Yeah. Okay. But there's no restrictions on, on those houses, oh, to right. the best of my knowledge. Yeah, because it's not a local historic No, but I mean they yeah. don't have there's no preservation restrictions that I found in yeah. any of the deeds. So. So, I think we should send a letter back. Saying that the historic commission <clears throat> to building, right? Yes. And I'll let somebody make this as a motion once I get done wording it. Um, the historic commission for the above described work.
Should we say has no jurisdiction? The above described work. The above described the work. Well, well, you do the wording. So the described the proposed work, work. Proposed work. Yeah. Has no, no comment at this point, with the exception of the replacement of windows. Hmm. It's within view of the upper green. Uh, do, do, they, do they need a demolition uh, permit to, to replace windows? You've got to tear the window out, right? No, yes. building. It's a building. Well, Sam always just so said if it was enough to have a dumpster for, then there was demolition going on. Okay. So, so, so let me fin finish with one sentence. I mean, this is questioning the jurisdiction. Uh, it's it's, it's a fine line. Yeah. So, with the exception of replacement of windows, <clears throat> the Historic Commission would like to discourage the use of modern replacement windows on this house facing the lower green. send an email to the building department regarding the one handover repairs to the house and we would be asking for the, the proposed work we only have a problem regarding windows being replaced which is our greatest concern and we would discourage the use of modern replacement windows on this house which is facing the upper green which is it also part of a National Historic Registry District. I second. Second. And Rich, all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Four ayes. All right. So when I will. It would be interesting to see if the building uh, department requires a demolition permit. For what doing. Well, it's, it's, it's always been at their discretion because we were always as well, well, you're not tearing anything down, but then, then Sam would say that anything that requires a dumpster, there's demolition going on. Well, they're probably going to be doing right. stuff inside the house, too. So the, what, that's the big question, is it, is, I think, for which, this part for us, are we doing inside demo or outside demo? I mean, well, you know. Yeah, but we trigger with a demolition permit, inside right. or outside. But you think, yeah. But these, this, they're going to get a, they're, going, they're, applying, they're applying for a building permit to do the work primarily, it appears, inside the building. Yeah. Yeah. So the quest, the biggest question would be, as we stated, is the windows, which are also on the outside of the building, even though yes. part of them is on the inside of the building, if you want to look at it that way. Well, my question is, 
if if they do they need a demolition permit to do inside work? I don't know if they. Yeah, no, and if they do, they, we may we may how they word have them. jurisdiction. Yeah, I don't know how they word them, but it's because still. Then, then we could then we could come back with jurisdiction, making a comment about the windows. Yes. I get that. Yeah, but we okay. won't know that until they apply for a permit. apply for a permit, <laughs> and they say you have to have a demolition permit. Well, I think they were applying for the permit. That's why she called me because he he thought there was preservation restriction on it. And well, they're applying for a building permit. Correct. Yeah. And we're talking about a demolition. Well, well I was going to say. We're talking, talking about, about any change that's going to affect the outside of the house that we're going to see, I guess, is the fastest way to state it, right? So that takes care of, I believe that. Um, I went to the um, Board of Selectmen meeting um, Monday, Tuesday, sorry, Tuesday night, uh, because there was a public property use request of um, for the low green, and that yes. was the one I had. They had originally sent us a request to look at to to use the green, and I replied that we are not in charge of the green; that they need to speak with the board of selectmen um, or the select board. I'll never say it that way. And um, but because we're, we only deal with the schoolhouse itself. So they I gave me information on how to contact, and they apparently did, because it came up and I went to the meeting, because I knew they were going to maybe ask to do other talks to the historical commission, so I figured it would be easier. So they're going to have, um, they have a uh, horse trailer, a small one, that they made a bar out of, so they take it places. So they use, they just wanted to use the green as a backdrop with the schoolhouse in it to look like an old-fashioned thing it's a to do. Photo shoot. Yeah, so they're going to have people. Different people are going to be there to photo shoot it. So it's. This is just for what? This is for advertising. And it's going to be this Sunday <coughs> from t uh, ten to four. Oh, okay. So while just we're there. so if you no, we're not. We're done. We're we're, we're closed. Schoolhouse is done. Oh, that's right. It's after Columbus, Columbus Day. Day. Yeah. I forgot. Yep. Or Indigenous Peoples Day. So, just so in case you see activity, you'll know why there is activity, because mm -hmm. board, the board gave them permission as, after they asked a couple of questions, like, are you doing this, that, and the other thing? And they were like, no, we're not having anything on the green. We're just using it. And it's the cutest thing, really. <laughs> so, because... Rebecca looked it up and sent sent them because we had the link to it. I think so. I went and did. And there's no rain, so they're not going to leave big. No rain between now and then. So we're not going to leave big 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 couches yes. in, in so. the grass. So that's good. So we're okay with that. Okay. What else? Anything? Okay. So you're done with uh, correspondence. So, uh, um, the, 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 um, I get copies of these for each of you just because this is very interesting. The library, our library, is having a has roundtable history discussions now, so um, you can sign up on the town web on their website, and um, they are having one. Which, if you look at the back side, you'll see why I thought it was interesting. It was Saturday, November fourth, from eleven to twelve in the local history room. Um, you can drop in or register. They are going to be discussing by field, bygone days through the lens of pho uh, photographs, family memoirs, and more. So I just thought that was interesting. That was, that's that little tidbit. And I think that is also this happy stuff. I don't have correspondence, but I have a, something that's along that line. If you want to hear it here, or I can do it in uh, later. Up. Uh, we, we can do it in uh, new business. Okay. We'll just okay, keep so going. One uh, report from LHDSC. I'm not sure what that is. So. Uh, oh, study committee. I got local historic study committee. I'm used to seeing LG at the beginning of it. Uh, we met. And uh, I, had, I had prepared a draft of, of the study plan. That's, that's the portion we're in right now. And it's a fairly detailed plan. 
and I was hoping to get comments uh, on our on our website on our, on our data site, but uh, nobody made it. <laughs> so we so we so we brought. I was hoping to get a, a one pass, and so we would have a more of a finished product at the thing. So we we. We, we didn't do that, so we don't, uh, basically the whole meeting was about uh, discussing bullet by bullet on through. It's, uh, I think my study plan is three pages long, but we got through the first two main sections of it, and we're going to meet again in, in uh, two weeks uh, later. I think that's the, I can't remember if it's the 23rd or what date it was. I've got it in the calendar here. We're going to meet again, yeah, and we're going to finish the updates on the, uh, uh, on, on, on the rest of it. And then once that's done, I will include everything in that. That'll become, we'll vote on that. That will become our study plan. And then once I've got a study plan, then I plan to take that to the select board and I plan to take that to the uh, planning committee. So I'll have two presentations where I'll give it twice and say, here's what we're going to do. This is the plan and we're going to implement it. And also in that meeting, people will be volunteering uh, in, in, in two-person committees to uh, to tackle the items. And this is where we put your name down there for the indigenous stuff. And, mm -hmm. and we need, you know, like a paragraph. Uh, but, well, a little more than that. Okay. Maybe three quarters of a page, something like that. And then we'll give you some criteria. But you know more about it than we do. So uh, whatever you think would be good to set the stage for, for coming into this. I'll show you the, I'll give you a copy of the whole outline. And, uh, and then we'll actually get going on something. Excellent. So that's good. Yeah. It's taken a while. But so you're presenting to uh, planning board. Don't forget that they're 100% Zoom. So you'll have to be Zoom proficient and Zoom prepared. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably make a PowerPoint. And, and, and I'll give it, I'll just give it to Mark, and she probably can bring it up on there. Yes. On their thing for me. Yeah. So. They do that all the time. Yeah. Just, it's just going to tell them, here's, here's, here's the plan. So this, the plan says, in effect, what's going to be in the report, what we're going to study, uh, what's in the study area, uh, and probably won't get into the details of who's going to do what on it. That's, that's kind of a committee thing. But this will give them an idea what the study plan is. And then, and then, and then maybe give them a, a ske proposed schedule. But it's, things drag, in, drag on quite a bit. Volunteers uh, groups like this are hard to plans like that for. Well, because you can't have you can't have discussions that aren't part of the meetings. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it hinders. You know, it hinders a lot of. You, yeah. you, you know, you could talk to somebody and they and they, but at some point you end up worrying about whether you're crossing the line of open meeting laws. Right. So, That's why what, what I did is I uploaded my draft onto the thing and it said anybody that wants to make any comments uh, on, and leave a, a, a note on their comments, then I could go in and gather those together and, and consider slight modifications before I actually brought it in and opened up in front of the public. Yeah. That didn't happen. So we brought the, the, the basically the first rough draft, preliminary draft, to the meeting and then discussed it uh, for the entire length of the meeting. We got actually got quite a bit of, of done. I, I was pretty impressed with the uh, discussions we had. That's good. So yeah. yeah. So so the format. I mean, I basically went and looked at the outline that what the state requires, and I and I had a couple of examples of uh, local historic districts of bills, uh, and, and I just pulled out the stuff that seemed to apply and put that in there. So it's. It wasn't like it just came out of the top of my head. Good. Yeah. Good. So that's where we are, and uh, we meet again, and I, I, I can look it up. I think it's, it's, I do believe it's the 23rd, or I know it's on a Monday because they've started going on Mondays again, and I can't, it's one night I can't go. Yeah. All right. Uh, schedule close up the schoolhouse, so yeah. we're done showing. We are done showing, so we need to, to do uh, Let's pack it away and seal things up. We put the flag away for the winter. Uh, I, I usually bring that, but take that down for both of you. Yeah, we right. put them on the to the let, let them dry out. The and I fold them the in put them. The back. Yeah. But, uh, do you need to call the portage on people? Uh, they, they know, but I won't. Yeah. Right. That's the end of the month. End of the month. Yeah, because I told the the people that were going to take the photographs that it would still be there. So oh. that's good. <laughs> yeah. Really, yeah. yeah. Okay.
Procedure, <laughs> procedural updates for the schoolhouse. Yeah, we got to work on that at some point. Brief me on that. This, this, what we're supposed to do in destruction instructions and a list of things that should be taken care of and done. And as far as operating it every month, day. Every time somebody goes in and out and stuff like that. So, because um, Chris used to do everything. And um, it still has Chris's name on the whole list of everything he's supposed to do. So I'm going to revise oh, it. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yep. <laughs> we have been using it a lot. So we'll take care of that later. Okay. Okay. All right, Juan, did you cover what you wanted to do on the new business, or you have more? Uh, oh, well, I just wanted to remind everybody that, that uh, on, the tw on the 23rd, uh, there's that great marsh symposium if, you, if yeah. other, anybody else wants to sign up for it. Yeah. Um, okay. And then this, this uh, when, when was I there last? Not this weekend, because I was going to stop at NCU. The weekend before this. I thought you were there Saturday. Oh, was I before you? Okay. Oh, yeah. Was I? Oh, okay. Yeah, you were. Oh, okay. Happy little I was going to stop in and say hi, but I got sucked away doing something else. Um, the Thurston family stopped through, and I had a really nice, long, like, probably 30, 40 minute conversation with them. This is Thurston's from Maine, so not, not Fred and, and Nancy. Uh, so they're, they're probably related if you go far enough back. But, but their ancestor came over on the boat, and the ancestor's son, when he died, left a big will. And I said, boy, I would love to have a copy of that. Uh, Thurston or Thurlow? Thurlow. 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 Sorry. Thurlow, yeah. Sorry. Thurlow. Uh, and, uh, and, he, and he said that I gave my email address and he might get back to me. I think that would be neat, uh, having a copy of that. Mm -hmm. uh, because they were over in the, what is it called, the, the Great Neck or? The Neck. The Neck. Yeah. The Neck. Yeah, the Neck. And then they, they left the area and went up into Maine, his, this part of the family. But, uh, but this would be one generation down from the guy that cut off the boat. Good. But that would be interesting. Good. That would be great. We can yeah, scan that and get it up on uh, our information the port. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. will. Yeah. Awesome. All right, any other business before the board tonight? I uh, guess we need to figure out a date. To close up the schoolhouse. Just close up the schoolhouse, but we're not having a meeting while we're there, so we'll just try to do it via um, emails. Yep. And FYI, there were, I believe, if I count them correct, 204 visitors to the schoolhouse this year. Oh, good. Wow. Good. Surprisingly. Yeah, and, and probably more than that, because some escape without, without, without signing. Yeah. yeah, I frequently make sure when people stop at the door, I said, and I, I yeah, explain I to too. them that we need the information for the Board of Selectmen at the end of the year. That's the That's only, right. we're not I, sending you anything or I just the same thing. people hesitate. <laughs> so, so, you know, I mean, if people put in family, I just kind of added like two people just because it's usually like the husband and wife with two kids or something, you know, a lot. So that's what I did. So we That reminds me, and our, our IT person isn't here tonight, but to still, we, we still need to think about QR codes mm -hmm. at different places in the building. And, because it's, it's everywhere now. Yeah, it's everywhere. Got to so, link them to something though, so we have to create cool whatever link we're linking. To, well, link them to something on the website. So you walk up to the QR code, which is the size of the yeah. four postage stamps, and you hit it with your phone, and it gives you on your phone twenty sentences or ten pages or, or a verbal address, and tells you all about everything you want to know, whether you're QR coding the building, the plaque up front. The cat, whatever it is, we've got them in the antique shop now. That, that's what I was getting at, though. Like if you, if you, if you, let's say we put one on the organ. Yep. Somebody had to write up something, about something about the organ, yep. right? We, you know, where we found it and and the, the model or something yep. like this. It'd be, it'd be good to have it for the map. Yeah. Um, right. 
And I, I think that, because like you walk around the city of Lawrence, that's how your tour is. Your yeah. tour is fully automated now. Mm -hmm. You just go from QR code to the next one and, and you just, you follow the map. And, and you know, instead of, in, instead of getting that box, that clear plastic box in the back where we would put our school things, just, just put a QR code on, 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 the, on the sign uh, next to it, they go into it, and our visitors' map is in there, and yeah. things like this. So they would be able to pick that up. Right oh there. yeah, so that would definitely not be me. What? Oh, you wouldn't do that with your phone. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm trying to keep as low profile as I can in the world without. <laughs> Chihuahua what do you do when you go to a restaurant and they don't have menus? Well, first of all, I don't go to restaurants. And second of all, I tell them if they want me to buy cake or anything, then they need to give me a piece of paper or at least speak in English to me so I can understand what they want. Because I am not alone. So there are a lot of us out there. No, I know. I know. So if they want you guys want QR codes, you know, then that would be a Rebecca thing. No, I don't make QR codes are easy. You can, you can make one in five seconds. I don't even yeah, know. Yeah. So let, let's put that, will you put that on the agenda for next month? No. No, that's <laughs> Here's, here's a question, too. You guys you won't even put I just it wanted to say it. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys, you guys know the, how the system works here better than I do, probably. Maybe you don't, because you haven't been around long enough either. But um, uh, So we, we've got a survey for the, for the Lower Green Local Historic District Study Committee. And uh, we've decided that if we want to get representation, since everybody has to vote on it, we want to get the survey out to everybody. Okay, so we're thinking in the property tax thing that goes out, yeah, but having a little one. little card, and I was gonna and I was gonna suggest putting our, our website that would you could type the, type it into your computer and, and take you to the survey, and a QR code like this. And who would I talk to? About to the city about having that dumped into, into the real it's estate. A town. Hmm? It's a town. We don't have a city yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Then you go to the head of the tax office, the head tax office, but I don't know if you're going to get up. You're going to get any help there? That <clears throat> it's all done. As a matter of fact, it's farmed out. Like when you mail your excise taxes, they go to like Brookline or Albany, New York. They don't even so. Uh -huh. It's gone through a subcontractor. I don't know if I'd be very optimistic with that one. Okay. And I'm going to also tell you that having worked as the assistant town clerk, there is still a, an enormous amount of people in this town who do not have electronics. Yeah. So paper is going to be the way to go. Uh, no, but I mean yeah. with them. Yeah. So this stuff has to be available at town hall where they can get it. Yeah, we've got the ones, we've got the, the couple in the school, but I've never seen anybody pick one up. Well, because they don't even... Well, most of them are out of town. Yeah. Yeah. So you're trying to reach every taxpayer in this town, or just no, ones we, in we the area? like every taxpayer in the town every to know we're doing a survey. Because they're all going to have to vote on it at the time. Because it, eventually they're all going to have to vote. Or but it's citizens, they show up. it's not taxpayers. The homeowners, yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. Anybody who's legal can, can legally vote. Well, event. Once you have a product, you can get it on the cable channel, and then that way both people watching will see it. That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> and I bet you, with the product, is going to be a QR code and a website, <laughs> you know, a place to log into. Uh, I mean, maybe. I don't do them. I don't use it. I don't want stuff on my phone. It's just the way I am because I don't. I get enough. I mean, I, I get enough junk on my phone that I don't even want. Well, this is this, we're not sending it to it. you're requesting it. Uh, right, but I mean, and then it's going to be then. And that you're not requesting it, you're just going to log into it. But log into I still know a lot of people who have no computers. Yeah. They don't have cell phones, or if they do, they're minimal use, and they're not changing because they don't then see any have, to. Then they'll have to read the newspaper. So. That's where it'll be. Well, and the fastest is just go right through the post office and do a, a blanket mailing of the whole town. I would love to. How do you do that? Uh, go, just go in and ask. They've got a whole system set up. 
ask the town clerk to get. That's okay. So town clerk. I, so I would I should start, be start with Gretchen and, and ask. Okay. Tell them what you want to do, and and she'll make a suggestion. Be, because they, she could just she'll print out labels. They can print out the labels of all the registered voters and. Yeah, and that's no. Team. You go to the post office. They just put it in every single mailbox. It doesn't even have. This doesn't even get labeled. Oh, so he's talking totally different thing. Yeah, I don't so want to send a survey. I don't want to send the link to. it. So you need Whatever just like a you're postcard, trying to get. like yeah, a, postcard a postcard thing. You guys have to create a postcard thing yeah, and go course. to the Byfield Post Office because <coughs> they're in charge of the mail for this area. As far yeah. as I know. I've got to get permission because there'll be a cost on top of it. Yeah, but I mean, so clerk, you know. Clerk is, town clerk is what I talk to is basically your town I, I, would, I would say you can ask how they, how they do these things. Yeah. And, but but, but your group matters. is going to have to make a decision about how they want to do it. And then, well, we can do that. We'll, um, do, we'll do all that. Well, I know. But I mean, so then start it that way, and then who's going to go? It's going to go. It's going to have to go to the post office to find out how you guys are going to go about it. Because mm -hmm. they're the ones that are going to tell you what, they, what they're going to, what they'll accept to yeah. send out. So. I just need clearance from the town first. Yeah. I, mean, I need to know who to go ask. So well, town clerk, you think? Clearance from the town? To, you mean to send it out? To spend their money. It's going to cost money to send something out. You guys don't have any budget. No. Then you have to go. They'll have to go to the board. Oh, okay. So that's what they'll tell you. Because they're about. in charge of you. The board of selectmen. Okay. Uh, so be in go charge. to the. Uh, so uh, that'll be something I'll tell them when I so, when I give them the plan. Thank you. That'll. That's, yeah, that's, and talk to Julie. Ask her who you should speak with, yeah. or who within your group should speak yeah. with somebody, and well, I'm how, how to feel about it. To do the yeah. Because so. like yeah. same thing. Because I mean, the, the board is in charge of everybody, basically. Yeah, you're right. We, we, we are, we are, we are appointed by the board. Yeah. So, so. good point. And so do we. Yeah. So, so it's their problem, not mine. Yeah. Because <laughs> it'll be in the plan. The plan will say mail out to mm -hmm. residents. Survey. All right. Let's a motion Thank to adjourn. You. I move that we adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.